Good morning, everyone. I am Munsi Rasidur Islam from Department of Mechanical Engineering, Assistant Professor, GIS College of Engineering. Now, now today's lesson is actually the lesson of design of transmission system, say, clutch. Means we can concentrate the today's class on the transmission system on clutch. So, specifically, clutch concentrating part now let us see the uh, what is the actual transmission system so we can see that lot of transmission system are there so that is actually gear gear box clutch propeller shaft etc but in this particular point of view we can concentrate only the clutch part so that is actually the different mode of transmission system between the different types of um, shaft gear gear box propeller shaft etc so <clears throat> we can only concentrate in today's lesson that is actually the clutch part so first of all we have to know what is clutch so clutch is a mechanical device or mechanical component which is used to connect or disconnect the two parts when the power is engaged or disengaged position so it is actually <clears throat> when if if we press the um, pedal in any vehicles or any in, in automobile device or any other um, uh, vehicles we can um, use or we can press this pedal and um, but when we press this pedal the two connecting part of the contacting surfaces are disconnected so in this during position in this duration no power will be transmitted from one shaft to the another shaft for this reason the power will disconnect in instant or constant time so for that cases on that duration the body is fully free from the source of the power of the primer remover so for that cases so power can be transmitted from one step to another step to the or one step to the engine it may be smoothly run for a infinite time so next the power may be transmitted to rear or front wheel or any types of four wheels depending on the drive use next the clutch and gearbox varies the ratio of torque output and torque input so it is most important point of this lecture j torque output and torque input this is the important part <coughs> of this clutch the um, class clutch um, lecture so input and output input means in the power to source supply from the uh, source point and output means when if we press the pedal uh, of vehicles the remaining part of the um, source will not be transmitted from the source of the power to the remaining part of the body so for that cases on a certain time total body of the vehicles will free from the source of power so that is actually the case of input and output power or input or output torque and now next point is propeller shaft transmit final torque to the rear axle of gearbox so that gearbox point is not an important point for today's lecture and <clears throat> next function of transmission system so function of transmission system that is actually it disconnect the engine from driving wheels when required number one number two the engine is connected to driving wheels when it is changes to input torque to the output torque as desired and next point is it turns the drive to the right angle so it is the most important point of this lecture it turns the drive through a 
right angle that is actually the transmission system one criteria so uh, the next point is now the next point means that point we can concentrate in today's class <laughs> that is clutch so a clutch is a mechanical device or member which transmit motion or torque from one sap to the another sap which are along a straight line or in a same axis of rotation that means so we can transmit torque or we can transmit motion of power from one sap to another sap that means it cannot be transmitted without any reason of um, source of supply to any direction so it only transmit torque and power in same axis of rotation or otherwise straight line rotation that is the basic criteria of clutch definition and next is <coughs> next another point is a clutch is a machine member which is used to connect the driving shaft to the driven shaft that i already mentioned in the and the last uh, uh, few uh, uh, minutes ago so that the driving sap may be started or stopped when ever it may be needed without stopping the driving sap now next uh, another graphical representation of um, clutch that means this is a one uh, type of car and <clears throat> that car notified that uh, that means uh, here this section just middle portion of this front uh, front uh, wheel middle portion of the front wheel one black paper if you see the figure one, one black portion is there that black portion is actually controlling the total um, power transmission system from the middle point of the front wheel that is in, uh, identified by the clutch so in clutch right hand side one portion is there that portion is also called as right half shaft and just uh, in left side of the clutch one another portion is there in your uh, screen if you see the in your skin, another portion is there. That portion is uh, named as manual translation. And next is left half shaft. Left half shaft. And before the <clears throat> before the clutch, if you see the figure, one lip spring is there, and just behind the lip spring, well, main engine is located at that portion. That is actually. A graphical view of <coughs> of clutch or of any type of car now now requirement of the clutch so clutch requirement number one uh, the clutch must be able to transmit maximum torque of a of a engine number one point matlab um, torque can be transmitted without any failure of engine so that means the transition is important point and so clutch main point is the power transition second point is uh, to motion or torque transition <laughs> now second point is <coughs> gradual engagement the clutch should engage gradually to avoid sudden jerk that also another important point of clutch discussion now third point is heat dissipation so heat dissipation means so during during that um, motion of the uh, uh, during the motion of the um, uh, vehicle so heat will be generated so that means so if you um, if you are not able to dissipate this heat so this heat may uh, cause uh, problem some problem in the engine portion so for that cases heat dissipation must for any type of 
uh, any type of um, vehicles. So that means, so heat distribution is important for clutch point of view. So the clutch should be able to dissipate large quantity of heat which is generated during the clutch operation. That means the clutch, uh, when the clutch are in running conditions due to friction. So obviously where friction is there, heat will be generated and that heat may be causes some problem. And sometimes it may be probably if you are if it is not properly dissipate the heat in uh, in any medium like in air like coolant or any other so that means uh, the heat dissipation is important now next point is dynamic balancing <coughs> dynamic balance means the clutch should be dynamically balanced so balancing is another point of view of clutch requirement. So that means the clutch should be dynamically balanced and this is particularly required in case of high speed engine. So high speed engine it is also another criteria of engine clutches. Now next point is vibration damping. The clutch should have suitable mechanism. The clutch should have suitable mechanism to damp vibration and to eliminate noise production so noise produced during power transmitted noise produced during power transmission that means so vibration damper vibration damper also another point of clutch requirement so it also be, may be suitable for the mechanism to damp vibration and eliminate noise means it is used uh, sometimes it may be used as a vibration damper that also a uh, another point of requirement now next point is size class should be as small as possible uh, so that it occupy minimum space that means it may be in maybe some um, take some volume but uh, most of the cases it's uh, required minimum space as it is a some um, broad um, prospect of the engine but it may take minimum space now next point is inertia inertia means uh, uh, the clutch rotation parts should have minimum inertia. <coughs> Next point is clutch free pedal play. Clutch free pedal play means clutch free pedal play. It is actually it is not possible because if you apply the clutch, you have to be press pedal. Otherwise, you cannot be uh, used properly. Uh, for clutch conditions so for that cases to reduce effective clamping load on carbon thrust bearing on carbon thrust bearing next point is ease of operation as class clutch transmits higher torque it disengagement should not tire some drive and next point is lightness <coughs> obviously it may be it may be in <coughs> lightweight uh, if it is in, in heavy weight sometimes it is very difficult to design a designer for any type of vehicles now next point is principles of friction clutch operation principles of friction clutch operation means if you see the figure, that this, that figure is not clear. Uh, actually, <coughs> if you see the figure, so uh, that figure is not actually um, clear here. So that is actually a friction clutch, and friction clutch uh, fundamentally, if you press the pedal, that means uh, just uh, in in 
in right hand side one figure is there uh, that is actually the uh, uh, figure so <coughs> that is actually the figure of um, friction clutch so if you apply load um, in pedal so that means the arrow portion uh, upper arrow portion in upper arrow portion if you press the pedal um, that means uh, the contacting surface <coughs> contacting surface will disconnect, disconnect from the source of the power to the remaining part of the body on that situation on that situation no power or torque will transmitted from source to the remaining part of the body so uh, that is actually the function of clutch so in this duration uh, the total body of the vehicles will free as the no power will transmitted from um, from source to the remaining part so in this situation and the driver may easily take some operation to change the gear or any other vehicles any other vehicles operation that is actually the uh, uh, function of friction clutch so friction clutch means obviously in this clutch you have to operate properly with the friction plate so friction plate or discs must used in this in, in this uh, type of clutches because uh, the inflection clutch when the two body are in contacting position and they these two bodies are connected in some certain um, portion and power will be transmitted from one plate to another plate and in this situation the torque or power would be transmitted from source to the other part of the body so that is actually that is actually the case of um, engagement and deciding engagement position engagement position means when the body are in running conditions so when the body are in smoothly running conditions that is actually the engagement condition and disengagement position means when we apply when we apply means driver will apply the load that means if we apply the load on the pedal the plate of contacting surfaces will create some gap between the two contacting plates that that's why the no power or the torque will be transmitted that situation is known as disengagement situation so <coughs> next point principles of operation principles of operation means how <clears throat> the friction clutch will operate so number one point is the clutch works on the principles of friction so obviously friction plate is required so if you are not apply in friction plate you cannot operate properly in clutch so number one obviously the friction clutch works on friction principles of friction next point is when the two surfaces are brought in contact that point is already i explained in previous slide so when the two surfaces brought into contact with each other the first they are united due to the friction between them now next point is the friction depends on area of contact pressure applied upon them and coefficient or friction and surface of the material that i already know that the friction behavior is must properly used in this type of plate so that that's why the friction depends on area of contact uh, pressure applied upon them and coefficient of friction and also the surface of the material now next point is two surfaces can be separated and brought into contact when required so obviously two surface means when the two contacting surfaces are in contact uh, contacted and when the requirement is fulfilled we can easily segregate these two parts segregate these two um, contacting surfaces 
and as as my requirement we can again uh, engage this to plate when the body are in running conditions <clears throat> one is uh, considered driving member another obviously in driving drive driven member the driving member is kept rotating and when the driven member is brought into contact the driving member is also start rotating and next point is when the driving member is separated from the driving member it does not revolve it does not revolve means the driving member is separated that is actually the vice versa of um, the total system when that means the driven member <coughs> is separated but the driving member is not uh, separated that means it does not revolve it it cannot be possible um, simply it cannot be possible because source is supplied from sourcing point to the remaining part of the body so it cannot be happen the source can be transmitted from driving sap to driving driving sap it is not possible and that is actually the a simple formula of um, basic formula of um, single plate class that is actually the t means total torque transmitting capacity that is actually in the t uh, that <coughs> is uh, defined on the total load axial load applied that means <coughs> if we applied the load on the pedal that is actually the total axial load of w and mu is coming for that reason because it is actually the friction clutch so friction clutch means the mu is present here so mu is coefficient of friction t means the total torque transmitted that's if we apply the load so torque will be transmitted so for that reason the t is torque the total torque transmitted during this situation and r r means effective mean radius of the friction surfaces so if we apply the friction plate or disc so that have some diameter so that means effective diameter mean diameter so for that cases uh, r is the effective mean radius of friction surfaces so how uh, friction clutch uh, how the friction clutch will operate so, so if you see the figure if you see the figure in that figure means uh, lot of points are including in this uh, situation so um, first one is in just colored wise it segregate this so that that's so that why that's why there are a lot of points are there uh, first point is if you see the color combination uh, flywheel is there uh, clutch lining is there clutch disc is there that means disc are uh, separated from the different types of color gear easing is there pressure angle obviously um, is there plate spring is there thrust bearing clutch lever and fulcrum all the points are colored here in different color combination mode <coughs> so for, for the understanding of this situation so clutch for the drive shaft and the clutch disc uh, which is actually situated at the center point <coughs> So clutch spins with the flywheel and uh, that is actually the left portion of the figure. Uh, so to disengage the lever is pulled uh, <coughs> black arrow to disengage the lever is pulled. That means the black arrow which is actually indicating that uh, black arrow causing a white pressure plate right hand side white pressure plate right hand side uh, which is actually located to disengage the green clutch disc from the turning the driving shaft 
which turns with the thrust bearing right in the lever right in the lever that means the if we put the uh, flywheel pressure uh, on the flywheel the flywheel rotates uh, uh, and give some rotation that rotation means the in arrow direction so causing the white pressure plate that is actually uh, located at right hand side to disengage the green clutch that that means the duration turning the driving shaft which turns within the thrust bearing right in the lever and never will add the three rings connect with no gaps means if we create some gap it cannot be transmitting um, power or torque from smooth rotation that is actually the working of <coughs> clutch now next point types of clutches uh, actually there are a lot of types of clutches are there according to the contact surface uh, according to the contact surface clutch are mainly uh, separated uh, into the different types of um, types of uh, classifications number one uh, number one friction clutch friction clutch number as per the contacting position friction clutch next one is mechanical clutch so third one is electromagnetic clutch fourth one is <coughs> hydraulic clutch the mainly four types of clutch are there in your syllabus but we can only concentrate on the positive contact clutch that means the friction clutch so friction clutch portion are included in my syllabus in our syllabus other parts we have to understand the working principle but we cannot concentrate more deeply in hydraulic clutch electromagnetic clutch and any other clutch because we can or fast we can fast cover my syllabus then we can concentrate the extra portion of the uh, part of the syllabus so first friction clutch friction clutch uh, under this why it, it is called friction clutch because uh, uh, torque and the torque and power can be transmitted in the mode of uh, uh, friction behavior of plate or disc for that reason it named as friction clutch <coughs> sorry so first one is single plate clutch second one is multiple clutch multiple clutch also the two types wet and dry <laughs> third one is cone clutch and cone clutch external and internal cone clutch fourth one uh, is centrifugal clutch so we can design um, the four types of say friction clutch so single plate clutch multiple clutch cone clutch and centrifugal clutch and mainly these four types of design are included in your syllabus other um, other parts means that means conical spring clutch Dapped arm clutch, tapered finger type clutch, crown spring clutch, <coughs> hydraulic clutch. Hydraulic clutch means that clutch is um, operated in hydraulically. Uh, electromagnetic clutch means that means the electromagnetic field as uh, are uh, uh, one reason of this type of clutch. Uh, so. There are a lot of types of clutch are included in your syllabus, but uh, it is not possible to each and every um, part of the design uh, to design in mechanical and uh, subject of um, design of machine elements. But only limited portions are included in your syllabus. That means the friction clutch portion are included in your syllabus. That's why. First, we complete the four um, part of the design, four part of, um, sorry, four portion, uh, friction clutch portion of the design. Then, if time will available, we can easily 
in covered the other portion out of syllabus portion we can easily cover it. so first uh, single plate class design will cover then multiple class design cone class design and send your class so <clears throat> thank you for this uh, giving me some opportunity to give the uh, teach the lesson of the transmission behavior of class so that's all for the today's class next class we can start the design of single plate class multiple class cone class and centigrade class thank you